Hello my friends, this is Moogle Master 102 and welcome to another episode of Luffy and the Fortress of Doom. Today we're gonna go ahead and uh, get something we actually missed. <laughs> so <clears throat> you're probably thinking to yourselves, huh, well, he didn't do anything about the old cave. Well, don't you worry. I didn't forget about it. Well, actually, I did. I'm an idiot. Um, I didn't do it because, well, I kind of did forget about it, which I'm, I'm stupid for doing. Um, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of me even, like, mentioning it when we're doing it anyway. So, uh, yeah. It sucks that we missed it. I completely forgot about it. But we do actually get some really good stuff out of it. Um... One weapon, actually, we get is, well, you don't want to equip it right away, and, um, you'll see why. Um, so, at the moment, we're just gonna sell a bunch of shit, because, well, why would we ever need a grilled newt is beyond me. Why we would ever need foul water is beyond me. Um, uh, why would we ever need arrows? Why would you ever need any of this, right? So... We're going to get rid of all this stuff, um, including some equipment that we don't really need. A bomb. We'll, we'll keep the bomb. Uh, we don't need the Brown Helm. We, uh, I'm going to keep some of these. Uh, what else don't we need? Well, we don't need the Smoke Balls, because, I mean, we don't really run away from battles. Uh, long Nails, we don't need these. Escapes, we don't need these. And let's see float we especially don't need anymore and um arrows get rid of all these and i think we are good for now yeah all right so actually you know what i want to get rid of these poison pins as well uh do this and there got rid of the poison pins and we're good so yeah, we're going to go to the old cave we, because we completely forgot about it um, when we were playing through this. So now is a good time to actually go ahead and do it. And plus, we'll actually be able to uh, get some good experience and some good items and stuff um, and get a lot of money. So we're basically treasure hunting this episode. So this episode is not exactly going to be the most interesting one, but we're going to go straight forward. Um, one, two, th two things I want to acknowledge. I'm going to be skipping majority of the battles and... Um, for the most part, I'm going to be skipping all the elevator transitions because they take a while. And I want to save you guys the trouble. Because, I mean, why would you want to, like, sit there and watch the whole thing, right? So we're going to do a lot of editing this episode. With that being said, let's go to the old cave. So we unlock the seventh floor now because of our level. And, yeah, we're going to get some good equipment out of this. So, yeah, um, we're also going to abuse the sweet water. <clears throat> that we have so that's another thing I want to acknowledge so enter the elevator. Yep. 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 That's what we're gonna do So we're gonna go into the third floor right away, obviously and uh, Yeah, see you guys on the flip side Okie dokie, so we're here um, We're gonna open all the chests to start with another thing we're gonna do is put on the sweet water obviously Because um, <clears throat> we don't want to run into the enemies. I mean, I mean that, that's just silly I mean, who plays an RPG to deal with random encounters? Stupid. Um, I did walk through the, I did walk through the marsh because, well, <laughs> come on now, who uses float? But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go through this door first, just to get it out of the way, get all the empty chests. I mean, yeah, stupid empty chests, useless chests. You're like the stupid loot crates in Overwatch that I. You're like the stupid loot crates in Overwatch that I opened before the battle transition completely ruined what I was going to say. Anyway, I'm going to open this. Empty. Ugh, useless stuff. But yeah, <laughs> well, it's not useless is when it's empty. Well, actually, it is useless. What am I saying? So, but yeah. Okay, sweet water ran out. It's fine. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and go through here. Now, this is actually a re-recording, by the way, because my last, the last parts that I'm, anyway, the last parts that I recorded were kind of just 
I don't know. They were bad. The frame rate was awful. I don't know what happened to my recording software. It was really weird. But yeah, um, and then there was that time where um, I ran out of disk space because my HDD, or not my HDD, my external hard drive that I usually save my videos to, well, it basically got nuked. It, like, it fried or something. It broke down. I couldn't, I can't use it anymore. And all my footage that I had previously on here is dead. So, quite frankly, it's better, it's actually better this way that I re-record it anyway, just so that the video itself is more presentable and not, like, completely slideshow-ish. So, yeah. That's, that's what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm not gonna worry about salvaging my recordings. I'm actually better off that I'm re-recording it, which I don't mind anyway because I'm dedicated and I want to keep these videos going for you guys and I do care about you guys very, very much, so. So I'm not gonna just, like, put out these videos very lazily and, you know, be like, ah, this is because, I mean, who the fuck does that? <laughs> that's stupid. So, we're gonna go back up and then <clears throat> I'll meet you on the fourth floor. Here we are on the fourth floor, which the cave is completely different. Also, make sure to equip your sweet water. I never understood. I never understood why sweet water keeps the monsters away. I feel like it would attract them more than it would keep them away. Cause I don't know. I, I just think like it's kind of silly. Maybe the monsters hate sweet things, and they like and and they hate sour things i don't know it's dumb they're like the polar opposite stupid monsters how do you how dare you not like sweet things sweet things are awesome actually i don't even like sweet things myself so um i don't really i guess i don't have room to talk i actually really like sour candies if there's one thing that people like if there's one thing my family knows how to like make me like, love them, I guess, is sour candies, like the warheads and stuff. I can eat, like, a whole bag of those and not cringe at all. Not that I would want to, but I don't know. It seems like a lot of people just don't like sour things. Uh, so maybe maybe it's just an unpopular opinion or something. Um, or maybe it's just that I'm weird that I like sour things over sweet things. Uh, I don't know. I barely even put freaking sugar in my coffee, so, I mean, I guess that's a given. It's probably maybe just because I appreciate b bitter flavors over sweet flavors. I don't know. Like I said, I'm like the complete polar opposite when it comes to that stuff. So, uh, I guess it works both ways. So, that's a little about me, I guess. While well, you guys are just watching this and me dealing with stupid random encounters, even though I have a sweet water on. Alright. So, we're going to get a miracle, empty boxes, and empty boxes. Great. Lovely. Literally, the majority of these boxes. That's you know what? This is the prime example. This is the prime example of me playing Overwatch, buying boxes, which I did, by the way. Um, I I completely admit I did buy 30 boxes, um, but I did get a big discount on the game itself. So it's not like I paid more than I actually bought the game for. But anyway, um, this is the prime example of like getting loot boxes in Overwatch, like. Half the things you get are just complete shit, but there's, like, good things you get out of, like, I don't know, three or four boxes. Most of the time, you're getting, like, common stuff you don't really want. But, yeah. That's, <laughs> like, the prime example of this. By the way, Overwatch, fantastic game. You guys should go play it. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, return to the first level, so I'll meet you right back. Here we are. We are on the fifth level, I think. Don't correct me on that. Yeah, we are on the fifth level. All right, I recognize this. But yeah, um, yeah, you guys should go play the game. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna do content on it because I never. This is the thing too. Oh wait, did we just get that? Hold on a second. Um, did we just get the luck? Yeah, we did. Okay, do not equip that for the love of God. Do yourselves a favor and do not equip that. All right, this is why it's cursed. You can't actually unequip all your stuff after you equip it. So don't equip it. For the love of God, wait until you uncurse it before uh, equipping it. The reason it's called the Luck Blade is because it's basically a double-edged sword, no pun intended. Basically, the problem is, is that at the cost of not being able to throw it out of your inventory, or not being able to un unequip it, you're basically missing every hit. You will be damn lucky if you actually hit someone with it, because it does a fuck ton of damage. You, your, your damage basically skyrockets. 
but that's that's pretty much the risk you know it, at the cost of doing really good damage it misses so for the love of god don't equip it you might do a lot of damage but you're gonna be missing a lot and you need aggro's high damage potential you need aggro's high damage potential so i would recommend not actually equipping it so yeah that's that's my PSA for you. <clears throat> but yeah, it's uh Yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, um what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the reason I'm not doing Overwatch stuff is just cause I don't feel comfortable with recording myself playing a game because I'm t I tend to be like very socially awkward when I'm like w unless it's with friends, like if I'm recording something with friends and stuff, most of the time I don't like playing solo I just cannot like I cannot add anything when I'm playing like it, it's different with RPGs because I'm because I'm always able to like add you know converse like I'm always able to add to what I'm saying so it's always a different thing but when you're like playing Overwatch it's kind of a different uh, environment to be in um, especially because there's like a community around it. Uh, playing niche games like this, I'm all, like, because building a different audience, it's it's kind of like it's gonna be really hard to do. Especially like having to be able to transition your videos around what they want and not what you want to do. It's a difficult thing, and that's why I don't really like doing videos of like Dota, League of Legends, Overwatch, because all those games that I play. I just don't feel comfortable with recording myself. Like I said, unless it's with friends and stuff, I'm more than happy to do that. Like, just because there's always some fun things that we t talk about and stuff, or just do stupid things and stuff. It's always good and fun. But the communities around it sometimes make it very uncomfortable for me to be able to add my commentary to and stuff. So that's why I kind of stick with what I do on this. So maybe I'll mix it up at some point. I'm not too sure. We'll see how the things go from here on out. I wanted my sweet water to run up. That's why I was walking around a little bit. But anyway, so we're going to go to the first floor, and I'll uh, see you guys at the sixth floor. Now, this is this is where it gets interesting. Now, this is where it does get interesting, because uh, I got rudely interrupted. But um, the enemies here are different, uh, obviously, because this is, I think, when you unlock it at level 30, and I think at, like, level 32 or 33 or something, the seventh one opens up but basically at this point um it's a lot different like this this is a little bit bigger and the enemies are a little bit stronger which is good actually thank god for that but the big trade-off here is that the enemies are a lot stronger here they're gonna hit really damn hard um and thank god i did not put the luck plate on because that would have sucked yeah, and thank God we did not get hit by that. So, yeah. But, uh, that would really suck if we had the luck blade on. Like I said, it lives up to his name. You have to play your cards. Like, you have to, like... It's, it's RNG. Like, big time. You have to play your cards right. Because if that thing misses, you are fucked if you're in a really tight situation. And I think that's the last thing you want. So, it's basically like gambling. I think probably it's best that you don't do that ever because it's not very rewarding at all. So don't press your luck. And of course, because we're paralyzed, aggro can't hit for shit, which sucks. But it's better it's better to be paralyzed than not being able to hit anything at all. Right? Right? So we're going to go ahead and use bang on, like because they fire back at us why not fire back at them um aggro is still out of commission now luffy is out of commission fuck god damn it you bastards well at least aggro's back on his feet okay so we finally actually get these chests because the game is prevent by the way there's a weird solid spot here you can't even move to i don't know why it's, it's just there to be annoying but yeah got a plate helm so we got some decent equipment and more axe knights okay 
Um, well, I would not recommend actually using spells on these guys. I think they're immune to physical attacks and spells, um, but aggro still hits them really hard. So, um, oh shit, now they're calling for help. And now they're using mag. Joy. Thing on doesn't hurt by much, so. Uh, guess we'll just keep attacking it. I swear to God, if you call more friends, I will be pissed. These guys really are hurt, though. Okay. We dropped a little low there. That's, like, the last thing I want. So, Lufia, can you heal? Like, for the love of God. Um, courage, please. Courage be very nice. Oh, that's not a healing spell. <laughs> it just increases her physical. <laughs> Fuck. That sucks. Now we have to use a damn miracle. We got a tower shield, though. That's cool. I didn't even know you got tower shields from these guys. So we got to revive. I'm not wasting a miracle. That's for sure. I just realized we have revived, so we don't need to use the miracles. Thank God for that. We're gonna heal, and uh, since Luffy has plenty of MP to throw around, should not be worried about healing everybody. It's full. It's fine. So we got a tower shield, which is actually really nice for us. Um, let's go and equip that. Ooh, that's actually quite a lot. And for you, Mr man with the green hair. Uh, I'm not putting that on you. Don't even freaking think about it. Um, okay. So I think we're good. What do you have? Did I get something else for Lufia? I think I got something I uh, like shoes. No. Not shoes. You do. You definitely. Okay. Um, I got armor, I know that. You didn't get it? Am I thinking of something else? Oh, plate helm. Here we go. Yeah, put that on you. You need the, you need the armor, especially. You do a lot of damage, but you have no defense. Which is unfortunate. And, um, uh, more Axe Knights. Joy. Just what I needed. So, I'm gonna take you out and... I don't know. I guess we'll take out the Axe Knight. Because I'm kind of worried about the Axe Knights more than I am the Trap Heart. So, yeah. There we go. Ah, you bastard. See? That's exactly what I don't want. Luffy just absorbs it, though. Luffy does not give any fucks. But yeah, um... Yeah, the Trap Hearts do hurt a lot, actually. Now that I think about it. Uh, and then we'll just do this. Okay, that kills it. Which is going to be unfortunate if... Uh, okay. Good. We did it! Yeah! Alright. Do this. Gotta revive. It's not bad. For something that's all the way in the back, it doesn't seem like it's worth getting, but... Hey! You know, it replaces our... Uh... But, uh... Yeah. Cool. Oh, we got a hammer rod. That's perfect for... Yeah, it... I got into a battle and I completely forgot what I was even talking about. But, yeah. It... Whatever I said, yeah. But, um, Power Gourd. X Magic. What else is in here? Empty. Just more shitty loot crates. <laughs> knife shoes. Okay, we got knife shoes. And we got needle heels. Which, actually... That's good for Jaren. Uh, I'd, I'd rather have this on Jaren because Jaren has... Oh, wait. No, not you. Um, I think it's good on you. It's not good on you either. Shit. I'd rather have the armor. I really would because... I'd rather have the physical armor because... Put it, th like, put it in this perspective. At the tra Like, what's the trade-off of putting armor before, like, uh, sorry, what's the trade-off of putting, um, putting, uh, damage before armor? There isn't, because you're 
taking more damage at the cost of having more damage. It, it just doesn't work like that. Especially when the characters don't actually do physical damage. You're more reliant on their spell damage than you are their physical damage. Like, most of the time... Oh, fuck, we have too many things. Because um, most of the time, I find myself not really worrying about using Luffy's physical attacks because she's the one that's dropping the spells on everyone, you know? She's dropping the mean beats. But, um... But yeah, just no point in doing that. Like, just... You feel... I just feel much better uh, not worrying about our... Shit! I thought we had it on. I'm just more safer like not worrying about the uh, physical damage and it's not like it makes much of a difference anyway because Luffy's damage is just garbage and she's such a frail target that she's such a frail target that there's no point in having her uh, like just take any more damage than she needs to she really needs that physical armor there's like no fucking way like you have to be really like i i don't want to insult people i don't want to say like you're really you have to be really stupid to do that because you're a lot more safe in like combat when you actually have the means to and like building tanky is probably the best thing you could do at this point point. and of course because the game is being a douche to us we have to god damn it i keep pressing the button when i didn't mean to um but of course, because this game has a freaking item slot limit. Whoops. What am I doing, man? I'm wasting all my mana for dumb reasons. I'm just like rushing through it because I'm so invested in this conversation. Um, let's see. What can we get rid of? Oh, sour cider? I don't know what the hell that is. I don't even use that. Uh, apron? <laughs> let's get rid of the apron, I guess. And the brown breast? in the Broan Helm. Quite frankly, we could have just sold this, but screw it. We need it. Alright, Gladius. Okay. So we did get a really good weapon. I think that's a good weapon at this point in the game. Let's see. Glad oh! I think it does. Let's see. Ooh, actually, that's quite a lot of damage that it gives us. Much better than the <clears throat> Lucky Sword. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna bring that up or anything it's just I mean, who would would do such a thing right so i got plate mail which actually i'm probably going to give to our uh, aggro because well again it needs it there you go you're caught up it's better to have you live than uh worry about the main character because the main character already has decent defense so aggro uh, while he can hit hard he can't really take it so yeah Yeah, much better trade-off in the end. Okay, so we're done here. And all we have left is the seventh floor. And <laughs> just as we came in the entrance, our sweet water ran out. So, yeah. But yeah, this place is pretty, uh... It's pretty sweet. Oh, we got another sweet water. Huh, who would have thought? But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's big. Got a gloom pick. Empty. You know, thank God we're getting empty chests. I don't have to worry about my item space. Um, Alright. So, um, it's gonna be a damn meme. Like, watch. It's just gonna be like, you can't carry any more items. It's just a big troll, man. It's a big slap in the face. Especially for me. It's just... I have a habit of not selling my items and oh geez this kind of looks spooky uh i'm worried about the hydra more than i am the turtle let's see let's uh, uh i guess spark it you can hit both of them with this though yeah okay there we go and uh oh jesus christ okay we're definitely very under leveled for this This might be a big mistake.
This might have been the worst decision I've ever made in my life. We might have to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Fuck my life. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I'm sorry, guys. This is the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Uh, flame it. Flame it hard. Okay, we killed it. I blasted it, but it didn't do any- No, Jared! I made mistakes. Oh, son of a bitch. I have no idea what the hell I was thinking when I came in here. The mistakes have been made. I never want to do it again. Oh god, it does, nothing works on this guy. He's just taking everything. I'll bolt it. How about that? Um, spark it. Oh, thank god it died. But it gave a lot of experience. Okay. So, um, we definitely can't come here yet. I, so I have to escape. Uh, where's Jaren? Can you please zap us out of here? Or not zap us out of here, but zoom us out of here? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. So that was a huge mistake. We can't even go to the damn seventh flo <laughs> floor yet. We're, like, completely fucked right now. We Like, we can't do that until at least maybe, like, level 40. Um... Jesus Christ, those enemies hit a lot harder than I last recall. But then again, I, I remember, like, look at my level. Um, so later on, we'll come we'll come back there. But we did get all the old cave stuff done and got some decent stuff. I actually have some stuff to sell, um, which I'll do off screen. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time, where we will actually go ahead and continue on with the main plot. So, you guys take care of yourselves, and I'm off. Peace out.